Hi, I'm Leanne from Bat Lady Herbals and welcome to my video. So this is the sea grape or the Florida sea grape. Its Latin name is Coco Loba uvifera. As you can see right now, it does have these amazing little berries on it. These are the immature berries. As the summer progresses, these berries are going to get bigger and they're going to start turning red. They look just like little grapes hanging off the vine. But this is in the buckwheat family. Now because it's in the buckwheat family, there is one caution with this plant. And that is if you have uh, allergies to plants in the buckwheat family, you might be allergic to the pollen. If you're not, this plant is super popular with our Florida pollinators and makes an excellent honey. Now, this plant is native to the Florida coastlines from the South Florida areas all the way up to the Central Florida areas. However, it is one of the plants that helps to protect our dunes, especially the dunes that are currently in, in danger right now. Because of that, According to Florida state law, this plant is protected and you cannot pick from it, you cannot harvest it without written permission. Fortunately for us, it's an absolutely gorgeous ornamental and it's really easy to grow. So you can find it at most nurseries in central Florida. But keep in mind, if you want to grow this plant, you're going to need to get at least one male and one female, which probably means at least in my case that I would want to have like four or five just to make sure I have a male and a female. As you can see this plant is popular as an ornamental because it's absolutely beautiful. Even without the berries and the flowers the leaves are just gorgeous. The young leaves as you see come out and they're kind of reddish and they're shiny. As they get older they lose their shine and they turn green but they keep the red in the veins. And in some cases and the uh, younger but more mature than baby leaves, uh, you also can see red on the underside. These grapes are absolutely delicious. They're tart. They don't have very much natural sugar to them, but they're also full of calcium and potassium. And they're also loaded down with iodine, which makes this a great treat for people who have thyroid conditions. Just three of the ripe grapes a day is enough iodine to help prevent goiters. The leaves have a wonderful property where if you make a tea from them, it can actually help to regulate your blood sugar. So this plant is also a good plant for people who are diabetic. But keep in mind, if it can regulate your blood sugar, that means if you're taking blood sugar medication already, that it could interact with your medication. So you want to talk to your doctor about it first. Now the calcium and potassium in this plant also helps to regulate your blood cholesterol and your blood pressure. Also the roots and the bark can be boiled together to create a decoction, which is very similar to a tea, that can help stop dysentery and help prevent diarrhea. A tea from the leaves and the bark can also help in people who have problems with asthma. And it can also help to make a syrup from them to help soothe your throat, to help prevent cough. And the syrup can also help to ease any stomach pain. So thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with all of your friends. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Also feel free to find my blog at batladyherbals.com.